Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to create a Kafka instance in Pega. Login into the Dev Studio, navigate to the sysadmin. Under the sysadmin category, there is a rule called it a rule type called it as a Kafka. Just click on this Kafka. So see here instances of this Kafka. Just click on create a new Kafka instance. You can give the short description and Kafka instance name. For example, uh, my requirement is there is a one Kafka server which is running on so and so on port number and so and so on IP address. I want to configure those Kafka details. I want to configure those Kafka details in the Pega. For that, uh, Pega provided a one rule, uh, call it as a Kafka. So, assuming um, SBI. SBI Kafka server SBI Kafka server I am just giving as a description as well as a rule name also SBI Kafka server click on create and open here in this rule you can configure Kafka server details where the Kafka server is running where the Kafka broker is running so you need to configure all these details in this connection similar to the database connection details how we created a database rule so where we configure the database server details similarly here you can configure the see this one uh, the connection details add a host i'm just giving uh, um, uh, where my kafka server is running i have to give that host name or ip address uh, one second so i'm just giving uh, my kafka server which is running on this ip address and port number is 9092 9092 and if this kafka server is expecting ssl configuration now you need to select this checkbox otherwise leave it and if this kafka server if you want to connect it to this kafka server and if this kafka server is expecting credentials now you need to provide the credentials using this jaws configuration file jaws configuration files time being i don't have a, a because my Kafka server is not expecting any authentication. Okay. Just click on save. That's it. Now, if you want, just click on test connectivity. See, connection is established. That means you are successfully connected to this Kafka server, which is running Kafka server, which is running on this IP address on this port name. So, so in this way, you can configure n number of Kafka servers. But what is the purpose of this uh, uh, data instance rule? What is the purpose of this rule? Where do you use this rule? Where do you refer or where do you use this rule? Let me tell you the requirement. For example, I have a requirement. I want to post or publish or send a one message, one message to the Kafka broker or to the one of the Kafka topic. So obviously, of Kafka topic must be present in one of the Kafka broker. Kafka broker is nothing but a Kafka server. First of all, if you want to send a message or if you want to publish a message to the Kafka topic, you must connect it to first Kafka server. So those connection details are configured in this Kafka rule. Those connection details are configured in this Kafka rule. This Kafka rule, this Kafka rule will be used in the Kafka data sets. This Kafka rule will be used in the Kafka data sets. Why? Because from the data sets, 
from the data sets if you want to publish a message to the kafka server or a kafka topic or if you want to consume a message from the kafka topic you must use the data set so from that in that data set you have to configure the connection details you have to configure the connection details for example let me show you uh, go to the data model data set i want to create a one new data set click on create test data test d the type is a data set type is here kafka see here it is a kafka now click on create and open see here connection kafka configuration instance that means uh, by using this data set first of all what is the purpose of this data set kafka data set by using this data set either if you want to publish a message to the kafka topic or if you want to consume a message from the kafka topic i agree kafka topic is also present or kafka topic is also inside the kafka server or a kafka broker but in order to connect it to that kafka server first i need a connection details so already i have configured my kafka server details in one of the kafka instance rule so you simply just select sbi kafka server like this just click on test connectivity now later if you want you can publish or if you you can consume the messages from a kafka topic or not you can go ahead so i just want to show you where this kafka kafka instance rule will be used okay for that i created a one sample data set so then finally what is the use of kafka instance data instance rule in pega which is used to store the kafka server details i hope you understand the video